No fall. Oh, there. <laughs> well, maybe I'll get lucky and find a shed. <laughs> Well, oh, there it is. I found it. The $100,000 mushroom. Put that in the title. Just add clickbait and it'll grow even more. Guess I'll do an intro. Uh, I'm headed to a spot where there's an old bridge footing that I saw. Never been here, but it should be coming up somewhere and we are going to detect it. I'm not hoping to find Oh, look, there's. Another one of those $100,000 mushrooms. But anyway, uh, should be coming on it somewhere soon. Somewhere over here. As soon as we get there, I'll turn the camera back on. It's, I think I'm coming up to it now. Yeah, I can see it a little bit over there, I think. But again, I'm not hoping to find much. But I'm sure it's been hunted to death, but they're starting to, uh, they're starting to work the field, so, oh yeah, I see something. Okay, you can see uh, one on the other side. There's one right here. So obviously, from what I saw, it was an old bridge. So, definitely old limestone. This was probably the late 1800s, early 1900s it was built, from what I read. So, yeah, this is a pretty, pretty decent sized bridge. So I don't know, we're going to hit along here, it's probably going to be a lot of junk, probably a lot of nails. Obviously it was a wooden bridge back in the day. So we're just going to beat around here a little bit and see what we can find. Again, all the fields are starting to get worked, so uh, you know that's it for that and everything with the, uh, you know, with the shutdown and everything, all the uh, beaches and Chicago parks are closed, you know, I hate door knocking, I hate doing people's yards, I mean, I'll door knock for fields, but obviously, you don't want to door knock during this pandemic, I know a lot of you guys on YouTube still do it, but, uh, anyway, this is what we're doing today, again, it might be a short video, with nothing to show for it, but try to keep you guys entertained and, uh, hopefully find something for you guys. Yeah, when I was, uh, when I was uploading my, my last video, YouTube's got a thing now that pops up where you got to rate your videos for language. And also, they want to know if you uh, are going to talk about any of these. But yeah, YouTube's becoming uh, very political and, um, you know, that's the Democrats for you. But I don't want to get into politics, you know. I live in a Democratic state, so... Unfortunately, so uh, yeah, again, I'm gonna pound this area real good, see what I can find. I'm not hoping for very much, you know, but you never know. So I'll turn you on the next good find either one of us makes. So hopefully, you can find something. I don't know, it looks like it's gonna be a lot of trash, a lot of iron, but we will try. All right, not too far from that uh, bridge footing there. I'm just looking around, trying to uh, get a feel for the for the area. A lot of iron, a lot of surface trash. Yeah, I saw this sitting here, so I thought we'd pick it up together. Looks like something to an old car. Or something, I don't know. Maybe an old doorbell or something, who knows. See windings in there. Whatever it is, looks kind of old. I'm not going to take it with me. There's just junk all over the place. A lot of a lot of pieces of old beer cans. So I I don't I don't see us finding anything real good. But this oh let's check that out. We got a barbed wire coming through this tree. Ain't that neat? Wow, I didn't even see that. Look at it. It grew right between the fence. Well, nothing on that side, but uh, <laughs> that's pretty neat. That's probably going to be the coolest part of the video. 
Yeah, I know this uh, this video is probably gonna suck, but you know I thought I'd take you guys along with me. There's a lot of times that I explore places, don't find nothing, and I don't end up filming anything. But uh, happened quite a few times for river sites. Um, even one this year before they shut everything down. But uh, I don't know. It's, it's nice to be able to get out. You know, take a stroll through the woods. So. You know, I thought maybe this place might have some potential, but I'm seriously doubting it, but you never know. I'm going to try it for a little bit and move on. There's another spot in the woods that uh, I think there was some activity, and we'll try that. So hopefully I'll, next time you see me, I'll have something good. Okay, well, Mark's saying he got something good, so we're going to walk over there and uh, check it out. Would you get a clad dime? Probably. The heck, looks like a watch winder key. That's what it is. Yeah. Huh. That's that's showing some age right there. Yeah, it's about turn of the century, yeah. maybe a little eighteen hundreds. Wasn't that deep? Two, three inches coming up like a shotgun shell, but I I dug it anyway. Well, that's the find of the day. So, you know, there's one more spot to check here, and then uh, hopefully, we can find something else. Either that, it's going to be one short video of one find. Unbelievable treasure found by Treasure Hunter. Maybe I should put that in the title. Every other word capitalized. Alright, where's my machine at? <laughs> there it is. Alright, hopefully I'll find something for you guys. Okay, we're back out here at a, uh, at a cornfield that we hit last year where I found all the crotobels and stuff. The woods didn't pan out, um, so this is the only field they're not working yet, so decided to give it a try and uh, actually just got here. I'll let you listen to it. You can hear a lot of iron in there, but I don't think it's iron false and I think there's a good signal amongst the iron. so. I'm gonna dig it up together and see what it is. I'll try to do this live. Who knows? It could be a piece of can. It's, it's kind of ringing high like a can. It's not ringing in like silver, but you never know. It could be anything. The iron could be messing up with the sound. If I got that out. That sound like total crap now. Now it got better again. So yeah, there's definitely iron in there. Masking whatever it was. Kinda curious to see what it is. How about you guys? I think I got it out, but it's sounding like total crap again. Well, 
Hey, our little guy was ringing high. Just another damn rivet. <laughs> uh, rivet, man. That thing was screaming for some reason. I don't know. This place sucks, too. Well, we hunted it out. <laughs> yeah, but nothing's hunted out. That's what no, I'm saying. No. It's just dried up. Maybe with a couple it. of wet spots here and there. Oh, man. All right. Well, hopefully I can get something good out of here. Otherwise, this video is a complete waste. <laughs> so, all right. Keep going. Find something. Okay, for you Indian artifact guys, I already picked this up and looked at it. Surface fine. It feels like it's stone. It's got two holes in it. Never seen an Indian artifact with two holes. What do you think? You think that's stone? Is that a button? Yeah, or something. Did it come up? No. It's, it's just uh, surface yeah. fine? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I think it's Indian or Native American, but I'm not sure. Yeah, that looks like a rock that they just drilled holes in. Yeah. It doesn't look ceramic or yeah, it's, porcelain. It, it, it feels it feels like stone, doesn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> cool. Yeah, I just never seen one with two holes, so again I watch a lot of you uh, Native American artifact guys. Maybe you guys would tell me if you've seen anything like this. Try to zoom in on it and get a better look for you. Yeah, it's got two holes in there. It's definitely not natural. And it's definitely made of stone. It's not bone. Huh. Well, this is definitely my best find of the day. Even if I get a coin, this is going to be my best find. I just don't know what it is, though. I mean, it, I'm pretty sure it's Native American. How cool is that? Alright, well hopefully one of you guys uh, that hunts uh, Native American relics can uh, let me know what this is if you ever found anything like it. Definitely cool, I'm keeping it. Okay, we're wrapping it up. The sky's starting to get a little dark. It's going to start opening up soon, but um, again, not a total productive day, but we did find some stuff, and I'll turn you around and show you. Okay, Will County Mark. He dug himself a, uh, a Schrader valve to an old Model T. This is a cap to one. Got a buckle there, an early wheat penny, an old spoon bowl, and some uh, odds and ends irons. And here's my junk. Uh, I don't know what this is. I found this in the woods. It says some kind of wedge or something on it. So, no clue. Never seen nothing like it. Shotgun shells, some bullet casings. There's more small 22 bullet tops and 22 casings in there. I just got, I just dug a handful of the big stuff, threw them out. But you can see everything there. And well, I didn't get stagunked. I believe I do have a Native American artifact. If not, you guys, I'm sure, will correct me. It's definitely made of stone. It's not shell. It's not bone. I don't know how they would make those uh, two perfect holes in there like that, but they did. If indeed it is one, which I think it is. So yeah, it didn't get skunked after all. I'm happy to find this after all this time out. Out there too. And just to show, this is uh, the Will County Mark Mobile. This is all his iron that the AT Pro digs out, thinking they're high tones. <laughs> Dude, you'd be a good Civil War relic hunter, I tell you that right now. You'd probably find some muskets. I gotta stuff. go to the junkyard and exchange some of the stuff. He doesn't want to part with any of this. I mean, the van weighs like 10,000 pounds. <laughs> Horseshoes, axe heads. Iron. Let's take a look at some of this stuff. There's that axe head from the other day. I find a lot of these in the uh, farm fields, these spikes. And I found a, a bunch of these oh, yeah. Japanese casino tokens. Me and my buddy 
in another field. We we gave up digging them. We found about 80 of them, mm. all in one spot, There's coming out of like there, one huh? or two holes. Too bad you're not silver. Oh, but if those were quarters, or silver quarters, or half cut dollars, oh god. Yeah, you'd still be there, huh? Yep. It was fun digging them. It just kept popping. So the I don't know. Token who, hoard. Who would have lost those? They're. Uh, yeah, I don't know. There's probably a mason jar full of them. And Busted yeah, over well, there used to be a house over there, and they might, when they knocked it down, they might have mm -hmm. just bulldozed it into the field. Some of it. <clears throat> you guys recognize anything in here from previous hunts? Get a wheel. Remember the hatchet has a, the iron. Yeah, I think those two are cool. I try to preserve I don't know if those. That's part of a stirrup. Oh yeah, that's definitely what it is. I never got that on camera. Yeah. Looks like a wishbone. Yeah, that's definitely what it is. Part of an old stirrup. Yeah. That's cool. Some type of roller. This thing's heavy. Well, I'm getting a lot of the iron out of the guy's field if he wants to yeah. check it out and save him from uh, ruining some of his plows. Yeah, we take we try to take everything with us in the field. I even took this big post out the other day. Yeah, so the farmer doesn't run over it with his tractor. I mean, you try to get it all dug out. Old rings. That's part of an old plow. Yeah. That, that would go in the ground and dig. Horseshoe, horseshoe, hinge. I gotta get it. Five gallon bucket and just put it in there and take it to the need junkyard. To get a Fifty gallon drum throw in here. Yeah. Okay. Well, he definitely digs a lot of iron. He loves that iron, so he'd be a good relic hunter. So war sites. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. On uh, you know, sorry, didn't have none of the, nothing really spectacular to show you guys, but that's how it goes in this hobby. So, but. I want to thank you guys for watching once again and see you next time.